Hi everybody, thanks for watching Balance Studio's new series of video lessons. One thing I do want to remind everybody of is that we do teach lessons in person, so if you have any questions about that, you can go ahead and go to our website, balanceguitar.com, or you can go to our Facebook page, which is Facebook backslash Balance Guitar. So if you want to do that, go ahead and contact us, then uh, we'll get you set up. Another thing I'd like to say is that these lessons are going to be a supplement to what I teach face-to-face -face with people. And if you're learning by yourself and you're just watching YouTube videos, that's awesome. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. All right, then. Well, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we do is we're going to get tuned up. I have an electric tuner on my acoustic guitar, which is awesome. Very convenient. Um, if you have one at home, go ahead and do that really quick. Go ahead and pause the video. That's the magic of YouTube. So go ahead and do that really quick, and then we'll uh, keep on rolling here. Now that you've tuned your guitar and you're ready to go, we're going to go ahead and go into some basics. That's what this video is going to be about today. Uh, we're just going to go over a lot of basics and things that are going to help you through your journey here. So if you've already learned it from me, or if you kind of know how to play, you know, I'm just going to go over these one more time just because that's what I always do. So basically how the guitar works is through two points. We have the nut and we have the bridge. And so when you don't play anything and you're just plucking a string, the string vibrates. And it's vibrating from this point all the way to this point. So when we put our fingers on the neck or the fretboard, then that's what changes the tones because the vibration either becomes longer or shorter. So the first thing that I have every student of mine do, whether you're a toddler or you're an adult and you just want to play for fun, is the forefret exercise. And what this is, is basically just to stretch out your left hand um, so you can play uh, different chords and have that, you know, not awkward feeling in your hand. And it kind of just stretches out. Same way you stretch your muscles, you're going to stretch the ligaments in your hand. So you're going to hear me refer to all of our fingers as one, two, three, and four. So when I say one, I mean the first finger, second finger, third finger, and so on. So the first thing we're going to do here is put our first finger on the first fret. Now what that means is I'm going to put it on the left hand side of that first fret. So we're going to go ahead and play that. And we're going to take our second finger and also put it on the second fret. Now that means we're going to hold both of these down. This is what's going to stretch out your hand. So we're going to pluck that now. And then the next finger, three on the third fret. And then four on the fourth fret. One of the things I always tell my students is to get their finger as close as they possibly can to the fret. Now that means, you know, you're not going to be on top of it, but you're going to be, you know, right next to it. And that's going to give you the right tone. Uh, just kind of like that there. So well, now we're going to go into the next part. So we have one, two, three, four. Now the next part is going to be down a string. So we're going to go on to this string, which is called the A string, and we're going to go and do the exact same thing. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go down another string. One, two, three, four. And I think you know what we're going to do next. We're just going to go down one more. One, two, three, four, and so on. Now when we get to this bottom part, we're going to make a little transition here. So we're going to take our pinky with all four of our fingers down, and we're just going to slide up. And now instead of going on, we're going to what's called descend. So we're going to do our fourth finger first. So we're going to go four, and then three, and then two, and then one, and then up a string. Three, two, one, and then the same thing another string up so once we get back to the top we're just going to take our first finger and instead of just starting the pattern over again on the second fret we're going to move up one Get the picture. And then we're going to do the same thing, just move up again like we did on the first fret. And there you have the fourth fret. So one of the rules I always like to use for the left hand is to make a claw. And the reason why I say this is because when you're playing guitar, you kind of want to have a claw. Now the thumb can flatten out and be on the back of the neck like this, but these fingers are very important because you want to use the tips of your fingers to play every note. It's really important. And now another thing for the right hand is, um, I don't really care how people hold their pick so much as what they're doing with their right hand. 
Uh, one thing that does really matter with my teaching is you're going to have to use your pointer finger and your thumb to hold the pick. What I like to do for beginners, just to kind of get them to understand where the strings are and get that muscle memory, is to use what I call an anchor. With the fingers that you're not holding the pick with, we're going to go ahead and set it down right on the guitar, just so you can kind of uh, gauge where you are with your right hand, so you can pluck different strings and kind of understand where you're at and everything. Now with the anchor and with the claw, you should be doing fine with your forefret. Now one more thing I want to go over is my picking style. One of the things that I'm doing in particular, instead of just doing down strokes or just doing up strokes, is I'm doing what's called alternate picking. So I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So my pick is going to be doing this down, up, down, up motion. And that's to just kind of get this rhythm. Since you're a beginner, it's kind of important to get the rhythm from the get-go, so that way later on we don't have problems. All right, that's going to be it for today. So your homework is to do the fourth fret all the time. I want you to be able to do it while you're talking to me, while you're watching this video and you're learning something else in the next video. I want you to be a master at the fourth fret. The reason why I really push for practice and repetition is because that's what makes you remember and that's also what makes your muscles capable of doing other things. So when you're stretching out, it's going to make your playing a whole lot better when you play the fourth fret more and more and more and practice it more and more. Obviously, I'm going to give you more exercises later on, but for now, just go ahead and do that as much as you can. All right, so again, I just want to remind you guys that we do teach lessons face-to-face, -face, so if you want to go ahead and go to our website or our Facebook and go ahead and contact one of us, that would be great, and we'll get you set up as soon as we can. We have a lot of available spots, so please contact us.